Well, thanks for staying with us. You're watching Beyond World is One. My name is Mohammed Saleh, and Israel's chairman, K. Sivan, is presently addressing the media. Let's listen in to what he has to say. It's going on. Uh, it's going to be uh, to, to take ma major part of the work will be done this year, Gaganyan activity. So what I'm telling is, just like uh, every the last year, this year also going to be eventful year for ISRO. And uh, we are planning to do all the major projects, new developments, new projects. And at the same time, that is uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, launching the, uh, the chartlets required for our uh, societal purpose also planned this one. These are the things now planned this year. So this are, this are the thing I just wanted to brief to you. Now, if you have any question, maybe you can uh, ask. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. One, one. Uh, can you identify as a first four Yes, one. Yeah, you can. Uh, can you identify? My, my please. One by one. Everybody will take this now. Me. Thank you for that. Yeah. I did it. Uh, Rajiv is from Rajiv. Wish you a very happy New Year. Uh, you mentioned about the Sriyamthi project. Uh, but uh, it is important to know uh, what went wrong with uh, Sriyam 2. Actually, we have uh, seen many reports and we have read it. But we want to listen from you actually what went wrong. See, what really happened in the Chandrayaan 2 was, in the powered descent phase, this phase contains four phases. One is that uh, the rough breaking base, it is, uh, it is a major phase. That time, it went all, everything was all right. And uh, second phase is, there is a camera coasting phase. In that phase, what really happened was, that uh, the velocity was not reduced, the amount supposed to be reduced. So the velocity reduction is it was more more than whatever required to be done. So so next phase, what happened was this particular uh, the large reduction the, in this velocity was not able to handle by next phase, because of this, this, this was the beyond the design limit of the navigation guidance and control system. So, which, which was not able to take care of that one, so finally it ended up with a hard landing, this one. One more question. Uh, last year, this uh, was targeted uh, more than 2,000 missions. And uh, I think uh, we have a data by uh, 14 or like that. Uh, the focus was on uh, Chandrayaan 2 uh, for, from June to September. My question is, does it affect the capacity building of operation uh, satellite program, as you mentioned? And uh, once again, we are uh, targeting CHP this year. So, uh, uh, how, what kind of uh, effect uh, it has on operational <coughs> Now, Chandrayaan 3, uh, is, uh, the, is, it is it's not going to affect other uh, satellite program, this one. And uh, whatever that uh, we targeted for that, uh, that is uh, for the 2019, that is uh, all the satellites we could not uh, that, uh, launch, this one. It was not because of Chandrayaan concentration on Chandrayaan, it's not because of that. The system was not uh, ready for making, because mainly the, the hardware, the components were not available for the satellites. Also, there was some limitations in number of the launch vehicles, this one. And uh, whatever we planned th that last year, that one, that the remaining things now is spillover this year. And uh, by March, we will be launching whatever the satellite is supposed to be launched by this year, I mean last year. By, by March, and uh, that uh, we are we are planning to have more than 25 missions this year. This one, more than 25 missions. 
and uh, uh, he is, i don't want to tell the number of missions to you pias uh, tomorrow i mean after the end of the year you will tell that you are not achieved whatever year uh, told that's what i told that uh, more than 25 like that i am telling this one Okay, sir. This is coming from Sri Tamil Chennai. When we launch that unmanned mission, sir, you already told, right? Unmanned mission. Before the governor, when will the, then the next question is, who will be there in the exam phase that launch that mission? That is uh, unmanned mission. That is uh, we are planning for this year end. Okay, only planning. So <laughs> sometimes it may, if the work is not completed, it may slip over to next year. we are targeting for this one we are we are getting ready we are working with that one that is a uh, 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 that is a plan this one and uh, that uh, the second launch pad is we are uh, uh, we are planning that to to the area this uh, the the work uh, work up acquisition of land the process is going on so you said that you are about to identify that one will train in the country or abroad this uh, astronauts training will be done in russia this one because is uh, that uh, the, we have identified that uh, from here uh, some medical test was done on the astronauts then that as that pe- team of people were sent to russia for further medical tra- that uh, checking check up and based on that uh, russians the medical check up four people now they are identified for uh, the asna training now this uh, for people will undergo the training in russia all right so that is isro's chairman k7 there talking about several aspects but the big announcement of course is that he has said government has approved the chandrayaan 3 project and the project presently is ongoing and the other big announcement that he's also made is that for a second spaceport land acquisition process has been started and this will be in tutukudi in tamil nadu